Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be telling you all the resources that I've used during my MBBS journey right from first year to the final year to the internship. This video is not at all sponsored, all the resources which I've talked about, I've used them genuinely and these are the resources which have actually helped me get two gold medals and nine distinctions during my four years in college. Before we go ahead, we just recently crossed 1 million subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much to everybody who has been with me since day one. It's a really emotional moment for me and I'll be sharing a full video about it very very soon. But for now, let's take to our topic. So let's start with first year of MBBS which is the best year according to me and it's got a lot of resources that you can use and the main reason is that because all the subjects that we read in first year are also present in several other specialties. So let's start. The first resource that I want to highlight is KenHub. So KenHub is a platform for learning anatomy. Like all platforms it also has video lectures but the best part about this video lectures is that the diagrams or the images which they show they are actually really wonderful. So it helps you really visualize the structures, the relation of particular organs in a three-dimensional way. Studying anatomy at 3D view is really really necessary and, and KenHub does achieve that. They've also got question banks and flashcards. People use this resource a lot for USMLE step 1 but I just used it just because of their images. Resource number 2 is Biodigital Human and this is basically for you to study anatomy in a 3 dimensional space. So they've got a particular human and you can dissect all the layers and they've got the entire anatomy right from the little minute vessels all the way to bigger organs placed in that particular body. This will give you a real life feeling of dissection and it will help you visualize the structures much better. So let's say that you have a class coming up on the heart. Uh, so you, if you don't know the relations of the heart, you don't know where the vagus nerve passes or what is the relation of the uh, ascending aorta to the heart chambers. So what you can do is just you can go to this particular platform, you can just scroll around the cardiovascular system, you can find the heart and actually usko pura three dimension mein you can turn around, move it, pan it, tilt it, zoom it and you will be able to see what are the actual relations. So I think it's a wonderful tool, especially now also during internship when I don't understand particularly complicated topics. For example, the peritoneum, which is I think going to be always complicated for me. And the pelvic cavity, which is which is a tough topic to wrap your head, especially the arterial and the nervous supply. The best part is that it is actually free of cost for a student. It's not free for commercial users. For you and me, it's completely free. So you can just register to their website and start using it. You can start dissecting. What is my pro tip over here is that you can specially use it for neuroanatomy, where the coronal sections as well as the cross section sections as well as the longitudinal sections they are a bit difficult to visualize so having a 3d model does help from time to time that was all about biodigital human on to the third resource for first mbbs it is youtube itself on youtube there are three particular channels which i really enjoy first of all is biochemistry by dr rajesh jamulkar sir so he was my teacher in my college and he started making videos about biochemistry he's currently grown by quite a lot of subscribers and views i remember sitting for my examinations and watching his videos before my uni we also went together on a mumbai trip and uh, dr rajesh has been a really good friend and a supporter of the channel since I first started uploading videos. The video lectures which he actually puts are crisp and are excellent. He's also written a book which you can use in conjuncture with the video lectures which are called as Jamulkar Notes famously and you can understand biochemistry in a much more easier way if you don't have the money to pay for subscriptions. He's an amazing person in real life and I'm a big fan of him. Next is a YouTube channel called as Ninja Nerd. So this is a very famous YouTube channel and I still go to Ninja Nerd from time to time just to revise my few topics. So Ninja Nerd has got basically videos right from anatomy all the way to medicine and everything in between. So if you can imagine a particular long question or a short note or a particular MCQ, they've probably got a video on that as well. So there's this person called as Zach, uh, Professor Zach. So he is an excellent teacher and what he does is that he breaks down these complicated topics uh, and teaches you in a much more fluid manner. Uh, he uses a big giant whiteboard and that way you are also able to integrate your spatial memory with it. So again, a great YouTube channel for everybody who wants to learn. Again, I'm a big fan of him. Next, there is a channel called as Physiology Practical. So if you're running short on physiology, you can go visit that channel. The fourth resource I want to talk about for first year are Dr. Najib sir's lectures. The neuroanatomy and the neurophysiology part especially they have taught it in a way that you will never need to revisit those concepts because they are so well integrated. Uh, the lectures are extremely lengthy. You will, uh, if you want to read it from a book, you can complete that topic in 15 minutes, but the lectures, they are literally of five hours. For example, the corticospinal tract, which is the main tract that controls every single motor neurons, all the muscles of your body. It's controlled by the corticospinal tract. Just that track you can read in 15 minutes, whenever, whichever book you can find. But the same tract by Dr. Najib sir has been covered in like five sections. Each section is of one hour. So you can understand how the level of detail he actually goes through all the lesions of that particular tract as well as the associated symptoms. They've also got a website but that website is a bit dicey so I would not recommend anybody to purchase the actual course from their website because there are a lot of forums which say that it is actually a scam. Uh, they have got a continuous advertisement that 
it's just for five dollars but when you actually try to check it out you get charged like 22,000 rupees so that's definitely not five dollars and then you have to like write hundreds of mail just to get a refund actually happened with me I got the refund thankfully but a lot of people did not so if Dr. Najib fixes that it's well and good but otherwise on YouTube he's got some excellent lectures next resource I want to talk about here is Marrow so first year MBBS should you use Marrow and the straight up answer right now would be that if you are able to get your hand on a one year plan okay or the first year plan uh, then you should definitely go with it because it's going to increase uh, your knowledge level by quite a lot so basically marrow may indian teachers hai, and these indian teachers will teach you in a way uh, that is related to your competitive examination that is neat pg or next whichever is going to be applying to you especially with respect to the physiology and the biochemistry unit i'm in totally love with the lectures they are the main lecture and the main source of for me during the preparation of my NEET PG but as far as far as first time MBBS is concerned I did use it uh, it was my sister's marrow subscription at that point so I used it iPad and everything but you can definitely go ahead with it the ideal time to be buying marrow would roughly be second year mid or the early second year but you can still go with it in first year if you have that kind of capital you can also solve the question banks or the questions which are given are going to be helping you in your university exams and also helping you build deeper concepts with respect to your teachings so this was all for first year MBBS. Before we go ahead, I forgot to tell you that the best resource for any year is definitely going to be your books. So there is literally no replacement for books no matter how many videos do you watch, no matter how many uh, classes you attend from different teachers. If you are reading books, you are for sure going to get higher marks, for sure going to answer in a better way and for sure are going to have much better clarity. Okay, so uh, there is no replacement for books, not Marrow, not Najib sir, not, not anything, not Rajesh sir's video, nobody's videos. So so please make sure that you are having good resources, good books and make sure that you are spending some time reading. Otherwise, the rest of matter not matter. Okay? There are students who have watched this videos. There are students who have not watched this videos. But one thing which I would like to say that the books are actually what make you doctors. Next, let's go to second year of MBBS. This was the golden period for our batch, 18 batch. In second year of MBBS, lockdown came for us. Basically, 2020 was the year. And that's when I actually started making videos. So the first resource again is Maro. So Maro may fir say the second year subjects are given in a very beautiful fashion. Personally, I really love the microbiology section. So Shavika ma'am is the teacher in microbiology and she has done such an excellent job teaching you every single detail of micro. Uh, especially I would like to say that the notes which she provides uh, during her class, those are unbeatable for neat PG, for any question bank, for literally anything. If you are using her notes, then MCQs to Mare for sure write on your That has been my personal experience experience with the notes. The question bank you can definitely attempt and from second year MBBS you can start giving the subject wise tests which are also available in Maru. The second resource for second year MBBS is Pathoma. So particularly I did not really watch pathology that much from Maru. I actually watched it entirely from Pathoma. So Pathoma is this website uh, that, that's got video lectures for pathology and Hussain Sattar sir is the teacher. So he teaches you in great detail about all the things that is given in Robbins. So basically after your Pathoma lecture series is done it's just like 25 hours or something so in 2x you can complete pathology in a single day which is something which we commonly do during need PG preparation so the way he explains it it just really makes Robin's uh, reading very very easy uh, I would really like to emphasize that the points that he has made during the kidney section of, of the particular pathology or the nephrology section especially with respect to the different glomerulopathies as well as the cancers it's just mind-blowing nobody else is going to teach you like that so uh, and that really links back to your surgery in final year so in any case pathoma is a really good uh, resource for you you can buy the notes at the same time or you can just print them out whichever one is convenient for you and legal for you for the purposes of the police who's watching this video but I would highly recommend the videos of Dr. Hussain Sattar sir my sister herself is a pathologist and she also occasionally uses Pathoma as a source just for quick revision before she takes the classes for second year MBBS students the third resource for second year MBBS students is going to be Sketchy so Sketchy is a platform which actually draws and that drawing you remember and just by remembering one drawing you're able to remember every detail about that particular topic for it, just the basic example is they have got sketchy micro. For example, there is this bacteria called as streptococcus, right? So streptococcus pneumoniae, famous organism for causing, causing pneumonia, for causing otitis, for causing meningitis, etc. So there's this particular beautiful drawing of a warrior who is in a tournament. He is wearing a full beautifully coated armor. Signifies that this particular bacteria has a tough capsule. That armor is missing from the chin. So that means that this particular organism is susceptible to optochin. So using such visual mnemonics, you can just remember one topic in, in a very, very beautiful manner. So Sketchy is available for micro, for patho and for pharmacology. And Sketchy will definitely boost your preparation no matter what you are doing. 
one of the main reasons I got a distinction in microbiology and I'm able to still recall is first of all Shavika Mamke ke lectures and second sketchy microbiology. It's also available for pharmac and patho. Nextly, the fourth resource is Anki. So I started using Anki in second year because I met this wonderful person called as Dr. Subha Prabhani. So he's also got a YouTube channel at the rate Mad About Medicine. So he introduced me to this uh, flashcard application called as Anki. So I used it like crazy during second year of MBBS. I had a huge streak and all. Anki basically is a flashcard application just mein tumko images dikhai jati hai. They are also shown the questions and then you have to answer by your own and based on that the algorithm understands whether you know a particular topic well or not and then it just a spaced repetition algorithm for you to understand things. Anki is not like a resource specific to MBBS, people use it for everything right from learning languages to code to development right to MBBS and you know the medical field but for the medical field it's really beautiful. Uh, there are a lot of pre-made decks for especially neat PG also available for USMLE there are tons of uh, resources are available so you can just import those decks and start using Anki within like one hour of setting it up. What it encourages is space repetition and I think that's what everybody needs in their life. Thinking about space repetition, subscribing to the channel would help me quite a lot because making these videos takes up a lot of time, effort, energy and subscribing in just two seconds would make up for all of that and you can join the pluripotent 10 a.m. club. Alright, thank you so much for clicking that red button. Moving on to the last resource which I particularly enjoyed using the second year phase was this website of uh, NCBI. So NCBI has got this website and uh, in that you can find amazing cases. So I particularly use this website quite a lot to just find new cases of the diseases which I'm studying. So for example you come across this bacteria called as uh, chlamydia cytokosis, right? You all know chlamydia for genital ulcers but what is the cytokosis? Just go to the website put cytokosis and you'll find the diseases caused by this bacteria. It actually causes a lung pathology which presents as pneumonia. So cases like that you're never gonna be reading in book but you book me road learning kar loge. But when you actually go to the website uh, of this case library website you can find the cases and that will help you build up your memory. During lockdown me and my friends connected online and we used to discuss quite a lot of cases together that made us very strong with respect to the diseases that we are supposed to know in second year right from rheumatic heart disease which is very basic all the way to different things like brucellosis chlamydia etc so those were all the resources for second year mbbs moving on to the third year the first resource again is marrow i would particularly like to say that here ent ophthalm and psm all three are wonderfully covered by the faculties especially psm uh, you, you it's usually a stereotype to think that psm is a very boring subject uh, I personally really enjoyed it, especially because the way it was taught in Marrow. Sir actually teaches you PSM in, a, in an interesting manner with, with mnemonics, with stories, with giving real life examples, which actually makes your memory last longer. Otherwise, you can forget to park. While watching ENT lectures, I was really mesmerized by ma'am and of course the lecture as well. Same goes for ophthalmology and they cover it right from the basics, especially ophthalm that is very well needed. At third year MBBS, you should definitely be having marrow if you haven't bought it already. Because from third year MBBS, you can actually start your preparation for next, which is going to be applicable for you guys who are in third year MBBS right now. The second resource for third year is going to be the website for Ministry of Health and Family Welfare as well as the AIMS website. So both of these websites actually launch new new guidelines which you are supposed to be aware during your PSM. So you can just Google whatever you are learning in your park and look it up on the official website to have a much more detailed information about that thing. There is this program called as Lakshya program. It is labor room quality assurance and services. So this is a program for the labor rooms and safe conduction of delivery. So there is just one paragraph written in our park. But there is, a, there is also a short note which was supposed to be coming. So I just went to that website and read like tons of points about Lakshya. And if that short note was to come, I would be aware about it. So you have to keep yourself updated because in third year you are supposed to be knowing the clinical things as well. So the official websites which actually give you the guidelines for studying PSM are going to be helpful for sure. Next resource for you guys is this YouTube channel called as I am Nikhil. So this is particular uh, the YouTube channel I really enjoyed during third year. Maybe some study, study with me videos. I have been watching his videos since quite a lot of time. So he makes ophthalm simpler. He shows you the different surgeries performed for cataract. He also shows you the instruments and it's like one stop shop for all the practical knowledge for ophthalmology which is the subject for third year. So I would highly recommend he is actually practicing in Nagpur itself. So yes, maybe we'll meet sometime. Yes, that was the only YouTube channel for third year MBBS. Next resource is something called as the White Army. So again a YouTube channel but not third year MBBS specific. You can watch uh, the White Army lectures actually in final year MBBS. But third year KB, they've got some lectures for ophthalmology and for ENT and the case presentation is wonderful. So uh, the White Army is like this group of people who actually uh, give excellent case presentations. I'm a big, I'm again a big fan of them and especially what happens in colleges that in third year and fourth year the, the teaching actually becomes very very low so you have to just uh, study on your own. So at that point a teacher coming and teaching is really helpful. So White Army lectures
architectures you can use in third year as well. That was all I guess for third year. Let's move on to the final year, which is my personal favorite. Number one, it's Marrow. Of course, it's going to be Marrow because final year, mein every single subject of Marrow is so beautiful. So beautiful. Right from medicine, I'm a big fan of Rakesh sir as well. I highly urge that every single one of who is watching this video, you should go through at least the few subjects of final year MBBS, the major subjects from Marrow because it just is a great clinical resource. It's complete and the amount of information it gives you is just wild. Okay, you can just uh, go and complete Marrow and it will just decrease the effort and the time taken to read books by just 70 percent i would personally say because you have already gained most of the knowledges from the lectures you've gained the relevant points from the marrow notes marrow is not a replacement for your textbooks at all it's always going to be add-on but the fact is there is no such other resource present in final year apart from marrow you have to solve the question banks you have to you have to give the grant test you have to give the subject wise test especially if you're in final year mbs and especially if next applies to you i've got a detailed video covering every single feature of marrow which i'll be releasing very soon Soon. but in short final year mbbs ke liye, there is literally no other resource like marrow it's going to cover everything especially the question bank from small small ecg things to big big changes entire systems it's all given beautifully next resource is ecg by dr najib sir so again on youtube you'll find a playlist for ecg and you can watch that it is going to decrease your time to learning the ecg by quite a lot i had some difficulties with the ecg from time to time but after solving the q bank of marrow and and being good at it for the first time and watching the najib sir's videos it really helped me at the basic parts there is another youtube channel by this this amazing person called as professor chintamani so he is a professor in vmc safdarjung hospital he actually takes you on a virtual round uh, of their particular surgery ward and they discuss all the different uh, variable clinical presentations as well as the treatment management options as well as the relevant as well as the related theory to that particular case so i think that for anybody who is having a less exposure in their particular college uh, you can just watch his videos about rounds they are usually pretty long like 30 minutes 40 minutes one hour but you can just put it on 2x and just listen to all the wisdom he is actually spreading next resource is again white army like i talked about during the third year part and specifically for final year they've got plenty of videos discussing the different clinical uh, symptoms the signs uh, as well as the case discussions of all the relevant cases that you've got in final year mbbs medicine surgery obstetrics pediatrics they've got it all ortho bhi hai and you can just go ahead and watch those case discussion videos if you feel like it if you are reading surgery and you come across procedures which you feel are difficult to understand for example the wipers procedure jab when i read it for the first time i had no clue what is joining to what and what is being removed so at that time just go ahead and watch the surgery video uh, on the youtube and watch the schematic of how it's actually being done so there are several channels i cannot name every one of them but you will find good videos if you search for whipple's procedure live surgery and you'll be able to watch whatever you want it's going to increase your surgical knowledge quite by a lot especially with respect to the techniques that the surgeon actually demonstrates in those videos but also virtually attending the ot itself so again if you have a little bit less college uh, exposure a little bit less patient exposure if you are not being uh, you know getting a chance to enter the ot to scrub in in final year mbbs you can definitely go ahead and watch the videos on youtube for internship my sole source has been marrow and you can watch any of the study with me videos i uploaded in the last uh, 12 months and you will get to see what i've been using and what i've been doing with respect to marrow if you want to watch a video of all the books of mbbs right from first year mbbs to final year my highlights my picks you can let me know down below in the comments we want to see the books video please and i'll definitely make that for you i think that was all from my side on this one guys really happy to be walking this journey with you a road to another million someday in the future and there is no other audience i would rather share this with thank you so much to my 10 am club thank you so much to you who was watching i'm dr anish pachel and i'll see you in my next video goodbye